The Nintendo Switch is one of the best-selling consoles of all time, and while you might think you know all there is to know about the Switch, here's 100 Nintendo Switch facts that you probably don't know. Before its reveal, Nintendo's codename for the Switch was the Nintendo NX. The Switch released on March 3rd, 2017, releasing just four years and three months after the Wii U. This is the shortest gap between the release of two Nintendo consoles. The Nintendo Switch has the longest lifespan of any Nintendo console, having been out for over six years without a new console even being announced yet. The name for the Switch has a double meaning according to Nintendo. The first obviously being the ability to switch between handheld and TV mode, but also to change or switch the way people viewed entertainment in their daily lives. The Switch is Nintendo's first console that is not region locked. In 2018, Nintendo released a second unit Switch set exclusive to Japan that was targeted towards households that already owned a Switch. This set sold at a cheaper price and did not include a dock, charging cable, or HDMI cord. There's an easter egg on the inside of the Switch Pro Controller. By pulling back on the right joystick and shining a light at the top of the ring, you can see the text that says, Thanks to all game fans. If it's hard for you to see, you could just rip off the top of your Pro Controller and look at the circuit board, but don't ask me how to put it back on. Although in-console voice chat is still not available to first-party games, some third-party games have it built in and only require a mic attached to headphones to use. Even before the release of the NES Online service, it was possible to play the game NES Golf on the Switch. In early software versions of the Switch, you could access it by sending your Switch to the day June 11th and doing the iconic Nintendo Direct hand movement with the Joy-Con. This was thought to be a tribute to the late CEO of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, who passed away on June 11th, 2015. This was later removed with the 4.0 software update. Following his death, Kimishima was promoted to the president, and Miyamoto was promoted to the title of Creative Fellow. Not exactly sure what that means, but it's kind of a sick name. When unlocking the Switch, you can hear four wacky sound effects by clicking either the right stick, left stick, left trigger, or right trigger. The home button on the Joy-Cons and Pro Controller has a blue ring light that is used for alarm notifications and when connecting to Steam. The Nintendo Switch reveal trailer is the second most viewed Nintendo video on Nintendo's YouTube channel, just behind the Super Mario Odyssey trailer. The Switch units used during this trailer didn't actually have the Switch branding on the back of them, like the systems that are sold. Prior to the system's release, Nintendo of America's president, Reggie fils said that the Switch was quote-unquote a make-or-break product for Nintendo. Your Switch actually knows what color your Joy-Cons are. There's even a cute little animation that plays when you attach them. You can actually see the exact battery percentage of your Switch by holding down the home button and then pressing down both triggers. Or, you know, you could just turn on the console battery percentage in the settings like me. In the sub-game Toad's Rec Room in Super Mario Party, you can connect two Switch screens together and they will know exactly where they are placed next to each other. You can even create some pretty unique maps for tanks. Nintendo Switch cartridges are covered in a bitter flavoring to avoid children eating them and choking on them. The Switch outsold the Wii U in just 10 months. The Joy-Cons have a feature in controller settings where you can find your missing Joy-Cons by having them vibrate. To promote the Switch, Reggie and Miyamoto went on the Jimmy Fallon show in December 2016 and showed off the new console. They also played a bit of Breath of the Wild, which is pretty neat. Reggie also went on the CBS This Morning show and said that Link is hot. Uh, Link is hot. I gotta say, Link is hot. <laughs> the title reveal of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was speculated to have been delayed in the UK due to the death of the Queen occurring in the same week. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best-selling game on the Switch, despite it being a port of a Wii U game. It sold 53.79 million units. To put that into perspective, that's more than the Wii U, GameCube, N64, or even the SNES ever sold. That's the power of the Switch's install base. What's even crazier is that the 13th best-selling game on the Switch, Pokemon Legends Arceus, even outsold the Wii U by over 2 million units. You can skip the user selection menu that pops up every time you open an application by going to Settings, Users, and then turning off the menu.
Despite being initially planned to be a Wii U exclusive, Breath of the Wild ended up selling over 30 million copies on the Switch, while only selling 1.7 million copies on the Wii U. While Nintendo Switch's online paid service was supposed to release in 2017, it wasn't actually released until September 18th, 2018, because Nintendo wanted to make sure it was worth the price when it dropped. Animal Crossing New Horizons is the second best-selling game on the Switch. In fact, it sold more copies than every other Animal Crossing game combined. Shortly after the Nintendo Switch's reveal, a YouTuber named Etika claimed to have gotten his hands on the Nintendo Switch early, but it was actually just a mock-up 3D printed console. Nintendo delayed the release of Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp by a year because the release was viewed as insensitive after Russia invaded Ukraine shortly before the original release date was planned. The first Nintendo Switch game to offer crossplay between consoles was Rocket League. Shortly after the release of Minecraft on the Nintendo Switch, Nintendo and Microsoft released a campaign together where they promoted crossplay between their users. Likely, it was a response to Sony initially not allowing crossplay with other consoles. In 2018, Nintendo got rid of their Nintendo Creators program, which took a cut of money made by YouTube videos in which their video games were featured, likely because other creators sharing their experience with the Nintendo games contributed to the sales of the Nintendo Switch. In 2017, Nintendo paid for a Super Bowl ad to promote the Nintendo Switch. This ad likely cost them around $5 million. While this was Nintendo's first Super Bowl ad, in 2016, the Pokemon company actually paid for an ad in Super Bowl 50 to promote Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Before the launch of the Switch, a YouTuber known as CND camped outside the Nintendo New York store for a month in order to become the first person to officially own one. Nintendo partnered with Tencent Games in 2019 in order to release the Nintendo Switch in China. Despite the Switch's massive success, many people initially expected it to fail when it was announced, including the CEO of Pokemon, who told Nintendo that nobody would want to carry a system around in the age of smartphones. The Nintendo Switch is the only Nintendo handheld successor that didn't offer backwards compatibility. The Switch, Switch Lite, and Switch OLED all released alongside a major first-party title, being Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening, and Metroid Dread. Technically, however, there is another version of the Switch that released in 2019. This Switch had a longer battery life, however, Nintendo did not market it as a new console. Changing your Switch's IP address to this will allow you to browse Google from your system. Nintendo was sued by GameVice for supposedly infringing on their patent for Joy-Cons. Nintendo ended up winning this lawsuit. Because the Joy-Cons offer Bluetooth support, they can also be used by phones and computers that also support Bluetooth. This was one of the big arguments made by GameVice during the lawsuit. Many fans have noticed that the Joy-Con grip kind of looks like a puppy with floppy ears due to the design of the handles. The Nintendo Switch's 5.0 update ended up breaking consoles if they had previously been using certain third-party docks. Despite having a themes menu, the Switch only has two themes, Basic White and Basic Black. The Switch is the first Nintendo console in which its base controller did not feature a D-pad. While this isn't the first Nintendo console to use cartridges as the main form of physical games, it's actually the second to have a protective flap covering the cartridge port, the first being the NES, of course. You can only have 300 friends on the Switch, so please stop sending me friend requests. Ever notice this weird little notch near the Switch screen? This is actually a light sensor that works to auto-adjust your Switch's screen brightness. You can buy games and apps from the International eShop by making an account from a different region. While promoting Super Mario Maker 2, Nintendo gave everyone on Southwest Airlines going to Comic-Con San Diego a free Switch with Mario Maker bundled in. Nintendo had a Labo Creator Contest in where the best Labo innovators would receive a cardboard colored Switch. This Switch also included cardboard colored Joy-Cons and a cardboard colored dock. Some of the best inventions included a solar-powered accordion, a teapot, and even a full-on Master Cycle Zero. The physical copy of most Switch games has a red spine, but the Labo cases have a black spine. 
There was also a Labo VR kit that turned your Switch into a VR headset. It worked in a few games, including Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. There are 14 official Joy-Con colors as of June 3rd, 2023. The Switch released with two Joy-Con color variations, gray and blue and red. I got the gray Joy-Cons because I really didn't like the asymmetry of the red and blue Joy-Cons. But lucky for me, Nintendo actually sells red and blue Joy-Cons swapped from the blue and red Switch. So basically what I was able to do was I bought the swapped Joy-Cons and traded my blue Joy-Con for my friend's red Joy-Cons so I could have two red Joy-Cons. But now luckily they actually sell full neon red Joy-Con, so you know, it, it, it was a problem back in 2017, but nowadays you can just go out and buy red Joy-Cons, which is, you know, kind of sick. But you know what's even cooler? The Nintendo Switch developer kit systems actually come with black Joy-Cons. That's so cool. The first Joy-Con color variation was the neon yellow pair that came alongside the release of ARMS. The first non-neon color was the red Joy-Cons that it released alongside Super Mario Odyssey. Nintendo has released four exclusive controllers for Nintendo Switch Online to play old games using their native controllers. They include NES, SNES, N64, and Genesis controllers. So when exactly are we getting the Game Boy and GBA controllers, Nintendo? Although the Switch is currently competing against the Xbox Series X and the PS5, they're actually from separate console generations. The Series X and PS5 are from the 9th generation, and the Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, and Switch are all part of the 8th generation. Nintendo is the only company to release two consoles during the same generation. The best-selling game on the Switch not made by Nintendo or the Pokemon Company is Monster Hunter Rise by Capcom. The Switch is 1 million units sold away from surpassing the entire population of Japan. The Switch has 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but this can be bumped up using an external micro SD card. Do your annoying friends ever spam the screenshot button to fill up your storage? Well, you can actually disable it by changing your button mapping in the settings. Bluetooth audio support was added with firmware update 13.0. Nintendo was sued in 2019 over the controller defect known as Joy-Con Drift. This defect would cause the controllers to sense movement even without being touched. A fix to this was actually found by opening up the controllers and putting a small piece of foam under the joystick. Or if that's too hard for you, you can just send it in to Nintendo for free repairs because they apparently changed it to free repairs after they got sued in 2019. So, you know, I see that as a win for us. The Switch eShop in September of 2020 was changed to a Mario Red to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Mario. The Switch launched with two first-party games, these being The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and 1-2 Switch. In 2023, both of these games actually received sequels. <laughs> the Switch display can only do 720p, including the OLED model. The Switch is currently the third best-selling game console of all time, only behind the PlayStation 2 and the DS. You can hard reset your Switch by holding down the power button for 15 seconds. Alongside an improved OLED screen, the Nintendo Switch OLED model also included upgraded speakers, a wider kickstand, and an Ethernet port for the dock. For Mario Day 2023, Nintendo offered a Mario Choose One bundle, which included a red Joy-Con Switch and the ability to choose one of three games to download to your Switch. Those games were Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Odyssey, and New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. There are only 10 games on the Switch that use Miis. There are currently four game-specific services for the Nintendo Switch Online app, Splatnet 2, Smash World, Nook Link, and Splatnet 3. There was a Joy-Con battery pack accessory released alongside ARMS that made it possible to charge your Joy-Cons while they're in use. It looks kind of stupid if I'm being completely honest, but I guess they serve some purpose. A better accessory in my opinion is the rechargeable Joy-Con grip. This makes it possible to keep your Joy-Cons in the grip without having to put them back in the system to charge. This is super useful for people who don't really take their Switch in handheld mode often. Since the Switch Lite doesn't have a kickstand, the SD card slot is covered instead by a little flap similar to the game card slot. 
What's interesting about the Switch Lite, however, is that it actually ended up replacing the D buttons for a D-pad, because the left side no longer needed to function as a sideways Joy-Con. Alongside the release of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Nintendo released the Pokeball Plus controller. It could be used as both a Joy-Con in-game and as a Pokemon Go Plus that can capture Pokemon in Pokemon Go. The first limited edition Joy-Cons sold to the public were the yellow and bronze Joy-Cons released with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee on the Switch. The second were the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Joy-Cons sold with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the Switch. But I've just gotta say, these ones are not as cool as the Pikachu and Eevee ones. Like, not even close. <laughs> On June 1st, 2023, Nintendo announced the first batch of pastel-colored Switch controllers. The last pair of Neon Joy-Con that were released were the Neon Purple and Orange, but the right and left controllers, respectively, are only available in the Japanese My Nintendo Store. There was a promotion for the Switch in 2017 called Nintendo Switch in Unexpected Places, which happened to include John Cena. The Japanese NSO exclusive Famicom controllers include a working microphone just like the original Famicom controllers. Arby's and Domino's actually congratulated Nintendo on social media for the release of the Nintendo Switch in 2017. The right Joy-Con has Amiibo support and an IR camera, and the left Joy-Con does not have either of those for some reason. As of June 2023, Nintendo is approximately worth 7.86 trillion dollars. If you want to help us hit our goal of reaching 7.86 trillion subscribers, hit subscribe and check out this video right here for more Nintendo facts.